Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. We have quite a few big changes happening to Kitchen Plus and Elan that are going to make designing a breeze, including the catalog layout as well as great, a great new door style. And so we're going to go ahead and get started and show you what's happening in Kitchen Plus and Elan. At Birch, we're always striving to improve our process and make changes that benefit the final products. So with that being said, we're making a slight construction change across the board to all of our framed cabinetry. So this is going to affect Kitchen Plus and Marketplace. So the face frame is getting um, changed just slightly. The face frame of the cabinet will now have a quarter inch scribe on the sides of the cabinet. This is pretty much an industry standard of how other cabinet companies are making their cabinet frames as well. So shouldn't be a huge um, change for you guys. If a dealer, um, if one of you guys forgets to order a finished side, let's say, the quarter inch scribe allows you to put a quarter inch finished panel up much nicer um, and easier to install in, in the field rather than a phenolic skin or appliance skin. Those are kind of a pain to install. So this makes finishing those if you forgot um, a little bit easier or easier to flush it out as well. And here's a cutaway example of each overlay style, just showing that quarter inch scribe. So obviously the full and standard overlay and even the inset and beaded inset. So with this new construction change, the finished and flush side options also change slightly. So you'll see the standard finish side it's going to remain the half inch plywood side with that quarter inch scribe on the face frame now. Um, and it's still going to be a no charge for an exposed finished side. So if you're calling out just that, that exposed end as a finished side, we're just going to finish that at no charge for you. Or anytime you're going around appliances or anything like that, we do that at no charge. Um, and now when we do the flush finish side, that is going to change a little bit. So you'll see now instead of going um, the half inch side, it's going to switch automatically to a three quarter plywood side. So when you order a flush finish side, um, there will be a little bit of a seam you'll see there um, where the frame meets the, the side. So right here, there's a little bit of a seam, um, but that's going to be, it's nearly flush. Okay, so that is considered flush. It's different than how we do it today. Um, for those of you who know how we do it today, we actually shave that down um, and putty it and everything and make that flush. Well, that decreases the cabinet size by a 16th. So that is no longer going to be the case. This is going to be the flush finish side. It's going to switch from the half inch to the three quarter plywood side automatically when you order a flush finish side. Um, and then we have a new flush side option with the mitered flush finish side. So this is a great look. Um, you're gonna have a seamless look, obviously, since it's that mitered. Um, going to be a great designer look, especially on solid colors where you're not going to see that um, joint fracture, or that paint line happening over time. Um, this construction change also includes the backs on all of the wall cabinets are going from an eighth inch thick to a half inch thick back. Okay, so now wall cabinets are all going to have a half inch thick back. Um, and base and tall cabinets are still going to have that eighth inch back, but all the wall cabinets are now going to be constructed with a half inch thick back. So that's it for construction changes. Um, and then I mentioned that catalog improvements were a large part of this update. So we're going to take a look at actually what's changing as far as the catalog goes. <clears throat> for starters, the catalog almost got cut in half size wise. We condensed the pages down having the spec information and the pricing information on the same pages. Okay, so we basically cut that catalog in half by doing so. Um, and each cabinet drawing in the catalog, it now has dimensions and any details or notes that pertain to it. So a lot more detail got added to each one of those cabinet SKUs in the catalog. We have condensed all the modifications down to one section. So our catalog currently is laid out, you know, wall base talls and behind those wall sections was always like a wall specialty and modifications and then a base specialty and modifications. Well, we've taken those and condensed all the modifications into one um, tab section now. So it makes it a lot easier for you guys to 
work through those custom or unique situations as you design. And then we've also added two new tab sections. One is gonna be for the wood hoods, so a special section just for those. And then the other is for panels and fillers. Again, this is gonna make designing with Kitchen Plus and Elan just much simpler from a design standpoint. <clears throat> So here's a look at all of the tab sections in the new catalog. So when you guys get your new catalogs, you're also gonna get a new set of tabs for your catalog binders. So these are what it's gonna, excuse me, these are gonna be your tabs. And then the blue text highlights those new tab sections. So those new ones for the modifications, the fillers and panels and the wood hoods. Any accessories that were added, um, they were gonna be added to the end of the specialty sections. So you'll see, um, in the catalog, we've added the paper towel drawer um, accessory. So that's gonna fall at the end of the base specialty cabinets and accessories. So that's kind of where you'll find that just as an example. Now we're gonna take a look at the new door style that's coming. Huntington. So Huntington has wider styles and rails with that two and three quarter um, styles and rails. It's got a beautiful deep recessed flat panel. Um, so you'll notice by the cross section there, um, because that panel sits back um, so deep, it does switch to a, a quarter inch panel. Okay, so it's not a half inch thick um, reverse raise. It is a quarter inch panel because of that deep recess. Um, gives it a great detail though, great for glaze hang up when you're doing um, finishes. And then it's available in overlay and inset. So you'll see both the overlay style and inset here. And here's just a very nice shot of um, a kitchen done in the Huntington door style. We've got the sink wall is cherry river rock, and then the floating shelves, the wood hood, and the island are all in that birch grove. So that was a new color for us um, a while back. And then birch dune is on the cooktop wall. So another new solid color for us but great um, complementing colors here, great looking door style. You'll notice some new items in this photo as well. We're gonna talk about later, but the shiplap wood hood and the island box end panels. So those are all coming in, um, great, great new stuff coming. So now we're gonna go through each catalog section though, and just look at what, what changes are happening within the catalog. So we're going to start with wall cabinets and I'm going to go through Kitchen Plus separate from Elan where needed um, and then I'll join them. Um, you'll see when needed as well, but Kitchen Plus framed for now. Um, you'll notice we've added any of the missing sizes where there were gaps in our standard offering previously. So we're adding the 54, 57 and 60 inch heights. So that's a great new addition. Um, we've added the 12, 15, 18 and 21 widths to some of those smaller height cabinets. So just those missing widths. Um, nine, in, nine inch width got added to the 24 high cabinets. So just some, some things that we're missing. Um, we've added lift up appliance door cabinets to everything. So wall corner cabinets now. So into the corner section, we've rounded out those heights. So we've got the 48 through 60 inch heights now. Um, 48 heights for the peninsula cabinets. We've got the square corner split wall cabinet. So again, a skew that was missing. Um, we just did not have the, the split wall version of that. So the stacked cabinet of a corner wall. Um, a diagonal corner with lift up appliance door. So we've got that lift up door here as well. And then on any of the corner cabinets where they needed um, the, where it was a piano hinge or there was an option to do hinge option D, Hinge option D is now going to be the default. So no need to remember, oh, what, what hinge was I supposed to order? Hinge option D, which is the concealed hinge, um, the most popular, is what is going to be the default now. So no need to change it or anything like that. You can still make a selection um, if you'd like, but hinge option D, the concealed hinge, is now going to be the default for all those corner cabinets. Still in wall corner cabinets for Kitchen Plus, um, the blind cabinet construction is going to be changing slightly. So now the blind cabinets are going to be the full width, so you do not need to pull them. 
Um, this makes the blind section always a consistent dimension. Okay, so it's always going to be a nice, you know, three inch filler space. Um, so it's already essentially got that pole um, built right in. Okay, so you've got your clearance and everything like that. So that blind dimension is always going to be consistent now. Now in wall specialty cabinets for Kitchen Plus, we've added the 12 inch heights and 18, 21, 39, and 42 widths to all the lift up cabinets that were already in there. Um, so you've got tons of sizes now of these lift up cabinets that are becoming more popular. We've also added the bifold lift up. So that did exist already in Elan, but it um, is now getting added to Kitchen Plus. We've also got those lift up doors again the double door appliance garage, so um, single and double door options there. And then the wine wall style X, we added several different sizes to those. And then we also added a larger width and got a double X version. Okay, so that's gonna be two X wine cabinets, you know, together. So several sizes got um, added there. So now switching gears to Elan, so to frameless, You'll see we've kind of lined up both catalogs. They're going to be the same or essentially have the same um, SKUs. So 33 inch heights were missing from Elan. We've added those 33 heights, 48s, 54s, 57, and 60s. So again, we've got consistency between Kitchen Plus and Elan. Um, and then we rounded out any of those missing sizes or um, SKUs to the catalog. So we've also got those 12, 15, 18 heights to the you know, 39 widths and above, those were just missing. Um, 45 and 48 widths, so those larger widths to the, the couple heights there. And then a bunch of heights to those split wall cabinets, okay? So now we've got all the wall cabinets going all the way up to the 60 inch high. Um, still with Elan wall cabinets, we've got the refrigerator walls, we added the 37 width. It already existed in Kitchen Plus, but we now have it in Elan as well. And then we've got all the heights added. So we've got um, tons of things that we just added to round out anything that was missing, the lift up appliance door cabinets, and then the wall two drawer. Wall corner cabinets for Elan. So again, we just added those sizes of the heights that we needed, 48 height for peninsulas, um, in the diagonal corner with lift up appliance garage. So you're going to see the, the repetition here with those lift up doors, those the taller heights for the wall cabinets. Specialty cabinets, all those same sizes that we added for Kitchen Plus lift up cabinets, we added those for Elan as well. We've got the lift up appliance door, the double door, um, and then Again, with the wine wall, both the lattice and the style X, we added several different sizes um, to kind of match what we did in Kitchen Plus. Wall specialty cabinets for Elan, so still frameless. Um, we've got the wall end shelf. We've got a radius with square top. So there's one style of wall end shelf now. <clears throat> and then we added the 33 width and 33 and 48 heights to the microwave. Um, the wall microwave, and then a couple different heights and sizes to the microwave C. So just some sizes um, that needed to be added there. Across both Kitchen Plus and Elan, so all the, the kitchen floating shelves, um, those are going to have a couple dimension changes. So the depth now is going, currently is 10 inches deep. It's going to be 12 inches deep. Okay, and then the height is going to go from two and a half. Now it's going to be two and three quarters high. Okay, so the floating shelf for Kitchen Plus and Elan is going to be 12 inch deep and two and three quarter high now. And those dimensions are going to be in the catalog, so you'll be able to clearly see what those are. So now we have a new tab section I've already told you for the wood hoods. We have completely revamped and improved our wood hood program. I think you guys are all going to be really excited about it. Um, it's going to be super easy to design with. So we have a couple catalog pages we'll look at here. Um, in a second, but overall, there's different styles. So there's the box style, the box arch style, flared canopy, curved canopy, modern, modern independent, create a hearth. Um, we still have that program as well. And then within those styles, um, you have a basically a plane, a shiplap, or a panel version. 
So the photo on the left is a paneled version. So it's gonna match the door style. Um, the, the photo on the right is obviously the shiplap. Um, those are both the box style wood hoods. So you have the box style wood hood with a paneled and then the box style wood hood with a shiplap. So then I'm gonna to flip to the catalog pages. So you can kind of see how they're laid out. So you'll see we have the first image is the box style. Second one is the flared canopy. Third one is the modern independent. So these are just examples of how the catalog pages look. Everything comes with a Venna hood, um, lower, blower and liner. Okay, it is shipped loose, but it's, it's included in the price. So we did switch from Brone to Venta hood. So everything is gonna ship with that Venna hood. Um, and all the Venna hood information is also laid out in the catalog. So you know exactly um, what you're working with. But you'll see on these catalog pages, you'll have the one main style, and then you'll have several different options to do as add-ons. So especially on the modern independent, you'll see all these, these square straight versions, and then you have the angled back, and then the angled back and sides in. So you have some different options, and then obviously you have the plain shiplap or panel versions, and you can also add a downlets treatment at the bottom. So very easy and clear to design with, um, making it just seamless, you know, for you to go through that process with your customers. All right, now looking at base cabinets, there wasn't a whole lot more to add to base cabinets, um, not as many SKUs as we added to the wall cabinet section, but we still did add several things. So Kitchen Plus and Elan both got you know, again, same consistency throughout both catalogs. We've added 39 and 42 inch widths to the drawer cabinets. Okay, so drawers now go up to that 42. Um, we've added the full height sink base, full height door sink base to Kitchen Plus. That was a missing skew. Hinge option D is gonna be that default for all those corner cabinets. So remember that's the concealed hinge. Um, we added the full height door recycle center cabinet. Okay, so now a trash pullout with the full height door very commonly asked for a custom cabinet right now. Um, and then we added some island end cap options, which are also going to be great. Um, and we're going to see those here in a minute too. I have a slide for those. The base corner cabinets for Kitchen Plus. So again, the blind corner cabinet construction change, just like the walls. Um, they no longer need to be pulled. Um, it's always going to be that consistent blind dimension there that you see. And Elan already is like this. So that's why this only affects Kitchen Plus. Um, Elan already had it, you know, constructed this way where you don't have to pull it from the wall. So Kitchen Plus now matches that. Here's those base specialty cabinets, those island end cap options. Okay, we've already had the bottom two um, far left photos right here. So this is going to be your end cap with drawers on front and your end cap panel. We already had those in the catalog, um, but changes there, you can now choose which turned post you want. So you have a few different selections of turned posts that you can order with those two options. And then we have the post ends and the box ends and the X ends. So with these post ends as well, you'll see the dimensions here, you have a three inch post or a six inch post option. And then within those two options, you have a square or chamfer. And then on that six inch one, you can actually get an architectural um, paneled version of those posts as well. So you can get um, a six inch option with a nice little panel on all those sides. And then again, similar to the wood hoods, you have the plain shiplap decorative or the paneled look. And then we also have that nice style X that's very popular um, and a shallow cabinet in those. <clears throat> Again, making all these SKUs available um, in several different sizes. So no need to like custom make something that you want. You hopefully nailed it down to what exactly is being ordered um, and increasing these SKUs for the island end cap options. Here's some great pictures of the box island end caps okay so the box style the plain the shiplap version and then the decorative or the paneled <clears throat> so that will match the door style um, profile all right now looking at tall cabinets 
In tall cabinets, so Kitchen Plus and Elan both got the same um, basic SKUs added. We've added the 102, the 108, and 120 inch heights to everything that we can. Um, I think the only thing that didn't go all the way up to that 120 height is in Elan, that tall pullout, um, where it's got those huge two doors that pull out. Um, but everything else got added, the 102, the 108, and 120 heights. Um, we added several or a couple widths to the broom cabinets, the shelf uh, pantries, and the roll tray pantries. Okay, so those tall cabinets with shelves, roll trays, and no shelves, they got the 39 and 42 inch widths. We added the 27 and 33 widths. Again, just kind of some missing sizes there to the broom shelf combo. And then we added 36 inch widths to all of the appliance cabinets. So the double ovens, the microwave oven, any of those cabinets got the 36 inch width added. And we also have the new pass through cabinet. So again, another custom item that was always being added um, and requested as a custom you know, drawn cabinet and custom quoted, it's now going to be a catalog SKU. So there's a pass through cabinet that's got several different um, SKUs and sizes. And that's Kitchen Plus only. Um, tall cabinets for Kitchen Plus. The refrigerator enclosure, we already had it in Kitchen Plus, but this is just, um, we've revised how we did it a little bit. So now we have, instead of styles A through F or whatever it, we did have, um, we have one style. We've got all the heights and depth options, all the width options. And then, so you just pick the size and then you can select what you want A to be. So A is your fridge opening height, okay? So even in 2020, when you're designing with that, it's gonna, you're gonna pull in your regular size and then it's gonna have a prompt that says, hey, what do you want A opening to be? So very, just again, just more designer friendly. You have one style to work with here. Now looking at furniture cabinets, so we're in the furniture section now. In Kitchen Plus, we've added several different widths to the mudroom cabinets. So we just kind of rounded out those mudroom cabinets and we've also added the mudroom drawer with cubbies. So instead of just the one larger drawer, you've got this a smaller drawer on top and then an open space below. So where you can see the floor and have your shoes sit below that drawer. Um, and Elan, so now switching to Elan, we actually never had a furniture tab section in Elan, but now we do. So it's going to be the same tab layout in both Kitchen Plus and Elan. But in Elan's furniture section, <laughs> we moved all those closet cabinets, now moved to that section. So they were in the end of, end of the tall section, um, just kind of hidden or buried in there. They are now going to be located in the furniture tab section. And then we've added mudroom cabinets to Elan. So we never had mudroom cabinets in frameless, but now we do. And all the SKUs match up to what is offered in Kitchen Plus. <clears throat> now we're into the bath tab section. <clears throat> in Kitchen Plus, um, we've added several of the cabinets that were missing or highly requested as you know custom drawn items or custom quoted things. Um, we've added the vanity sink dresser, so the three drawer vanity. We've added the vanity sink reverse, so with the door doors on top and drawer on bottom. Um, we've added a couple of the larger widths to the double and single vanity combos. And then we've added several widths, the 27, 30, 33, and 36 to the drawer bases. So now you can configure any of those drawer bases um, and create a nice vanity ensemble there. <clears throat> In Elan, we added several different vanity SKUs that um, we just didn't have a, a great vanity offering for frameless. So now we have the vanity three drawers and several SKUs there. We have the vanity four drawers, vanity six drawers, vanity four drawer bases to create your own ensemble. And then the wall mount vanities, wall mount linen and vanity leg base got added. So again, these were commonly quoted items. Um, we were always quoting wall mount vanities in Elan but now they have their own SKUs, so less modifications, less custom quotes. Um, they're already going to be existing in the catalog, which is great. Continuing on with bath cabinets, but here we have both Kitchen Plus and Elan, so these are going to be the same in both catalogs. We've got the vanity pull-out waste can, so 
so a vanity version of a trash pullout, a vanity outlet drawer, an appliance organizer. So this has an outlet in it and the stainless cups for um, your blow dryer or curling iron. So those hot um, bathroom appliances. <clears throat> and then we have the wall commode that got added. So the wall cabinet and then 96 and 90 inch heights to the linen cabinets. Okay, so we rounded out those heights for the linen cabinets as well. <clears throat> Another area where several changes and additions were made, I already mentioned, was the modification section. So you know that we moved it, now it's own tab section, uh, but we've asked, also added several different things that we're going to talk about. Um, in frameless cabinet design, it's becoming a more popular option to increase the depth of wall cabinets to either 13 or 15 inch deep. So we're introducing that increased depth to 13 mod as well as the increased depth to 15 mod. Um, Kitchen Plus framed cabinets already have um, that increased depth to 13 mod that got added um, last July when we did the product launch there. Um, and Kitchen Plus also already has standard cabinets that are 12 inch, 15 and 18 inch deep within the catalog. So that's why these are only getting added to Elan. Um, we already have those options in Kitchen Plus essentially. And then remember last July when we did do that product launch, um, we introduced the no charge for decreased dimensions and the increased dimension mod is that 35% premium by adding all of the sizes that we just added. So we added all those tall heights, those tall wall heights even, all the way up to 60. I think the amount of increased dimensions is really gonna drastically go down. Um, and you're gonna be able to do those no charge cut downs. If you need a 59 inch wall cabinet, you can use a 60 inch and do a no charge cut down. So it's gonna be a great, great thing for you all designing. All right, and I know we already talked about these a little bit, but we're gonna look at them one more time. Um, the flush finish side. So again, this is a change from how we currently do it today. Um, today, we're gonna shave that down. You lose a 16th inch off the cabinet, but a flush finish side going forward is gonna switch from a half inch plywood side to a three quarter plywood side automatically. Um, and that's gonna be your flush side. It's gonna have that little seam, just so you're aware. <laughs> And then we have the mitered finish side. So the mitered finish side is gonna give you that great seamless look. Again, it switches to a three quarter plywood side. So it switches from a half to a three quarter plywood side. And then we also have in Kitchen Plus and Elan, we have a grooved flush finish side. So more of a decorative um, finish side treatment. This is not a new product, but the decorative end panel, so the door basically that's applied on end, we used to ship that loose, but it's now going to come factory installed. So we've made the adjustments to all of the um, frame reveals to make those match, and the decorative end panel is now going to be um, factory installed. Some new modifications. Um, we have the two finishes, one cabinet. We've always had the one option, um, but now we have two options for two finishes, one cabinet. So the first option is the case that's gonna be one color, and then the doors and drawer fronts can be a contrasting. Um, so we've always had that option, but now we added the exterior and interior two-tone cabinets, okay? So you can do one species and finish on the exterior and a different species and finish on the interior. We also added the omit bottom rail and floor for those wall cabinets. And then we added the wide style um, in Kitchen Plus. So a wide style um, is shown there on the far right corner. So that does not change the box size, but it gives you that um, spacing when you're going up into those corners or need some clearance there. And then we've added the paper towel drawer. So that's again, another custom quoted item that's being custom quoted all the time, but we've added that paper towel drawer. It's gonna be located in the base accessories with the other base um, specialty and accessory cabinets. And then we have the toe space drawer. So that's gonna be that nice three inch drawer that goes in the toe kick space. And then we have an omit toe option now as well. 
We've also added for Kitchen Plus, we've added the change cabinet reveal. So this can be used um, for the top. It's commonly used for that top reveal. So if you're wanting the doors to go all the way up or you want a little bit less reveal for your crown or anything like that, you can change that top reveal. And then we have the retractable door options. So we've always had some retractable door options um, in the catalog. But now since we've condensed um, to one modification section, you'll see them nicely laid out. So you have the retractable um, doors that go in or with a pocket or the vertical option as well. A couple shelf modifications, you can convert shelf to shelf and rail and then convert shelf to a furniture shelf. So those both give you an inch and a half um, from the front thick shelves. Um, a, a nice, you know, furniture look. <clears throat> in Elan, um, the recessed bottom, we've changed that process a little bit. So we've always had that modification, of course, but now we have um, laid it out much differently. It's a little bit easier to understand. And then we also have the option to recess um, some of those sides with the bottom if you so choose. So you'll see from here on these photos, it's a front view. The dashed line represents the door. Okay, so this one you'll see the, the bottom is recessed and both sides are actually recessed as well. And then you'll see this one showing just the left side is recessed and the right side is still down where it's supposed to be. This one is the right side is now recessed and this one has no sides recessed. So the bottom is recessed. Um, and the sides are not. So if you wanna create that, you know, seamless look with no hardware and have kind of the, the finger poles on the bottom of the door, that would be the recessed bottom look on the frameless cabinets. Another big change is the custom cutout for appliances. It's now um, no charge, okay? So that's huge. You just have to specify what your appliance is. You don't need to um, add that custom frame charge that you used to have to add. You're just gonna be able to tell us the um, cutouts that you need and order that cabinet. So you still need to fill out those um, forms. So the templates, you can't just send us the spec sheets and expect us to know how you want it cut out. So you do need to specify what cutouts you would like, but we're doing that at no charge. Fillers and panels, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have its own um, tab section for fillers and panels now. So we'll take a look at those changes and additions. <laughs> We've added a corner overlay. So this has the profiled um, top and sides. Okay, so that's gonna match your profile of your door style. We've added the J end panel filler. So again, this is the J end panel filler um, and that is you're able to pull that out to kind of create a flush with the doors look. And then we have the overlay end panel. This is oversized to become flush with the doors on front. So you'll see whether it's wall based or tall, um, we're increasing that dimension so it becomes flush with the doors on the front of the cabinet. So a great, nice um, finished end treatment there. Also, some new additions for panels. We've added the shiplap panel, the inset wainscot panel. So that's for Kitchen Plus only, but we've got an inset version to match those inset doors. And then we have the doors applied to panel. So this would be a great way um, for you to get those miter doors on that applied to panel if you'd like. Now taking a look at moldings and miscellaneous. <laughs> Not a whole lot of um, additions, just kind of some changes here. We've added the flush or changed, excuse me, changed the flush trim molding. We always had this, but kind of laid it out a little bit different. We've got the straight version and the L-shaped version. Um, and then within the catalog, as I mentioned, we've got several more details and drawings where needed. So this shows you great examples of how you would use that as a light rail, for instance, or a crown treatment on the top or even the L-shaped as well, how you could use that as a light balance and a um, crown or a starter, if you will. And speaking of starter, we did add a starter molding um, to Kitchen Plus and Elan. So this makes it easy 
um, to install your crown. So you'll see Kitchen Plus, you have that nice starter molding, and then you can install the crown to that. This bottom edge of the starter molding is profiled, and then you have several different profile um, selections there to choose from. You'll see an inset. You can also use it on that, that bottom notch. So you'd order the inset version there, or Elan as well. It's going to be on that bottom notch um, to come out flush with the doors. So a great new option there with that starter molding. We've also added the squared panel balance. So we always had the arch style, but we've added the square version now as well. So the panel balance square. And then turned post. We didn't um, add a whole lot here. So the blue boxes are what we added. Um, but we rounded out the styles. So we gave us our everyone a three and a six inch version of each style. So we didn't have a three inch style of this. So we added that. We didn't have a three inch version of this one. So we added that. Um, and this is the turned post selection. So we actually eliminated a lot of turned posts, cleaned it up a little bit and gave you the most um, cleanest, best selling um, options here. We've also added all of these at the bottom. So we added the square version, the square with taper, and the square with chamfer on the post. And then we've added the architectural wainscot post. Okay, so you're going to get that nice paneled look on those architectural posts now as well. We are going to go over a new form that we have that we're going to be starting effective June 1st with this launch as well. <laughs> for custom finishes. So anytime you're gonna be ordering a custom color or any custom finish for like a glaze application or anything like that, we're gonna have this nice form for you to fill out. Um, it's got your dealer information up at the top, but it's just a nice <clears throat> clear way to let you know, uh, let dealer services know what you're ordering. Um, and you'll see from the paint match, so this section right here, um, you just need to put in the Sherwin-Williams or Benjamin Moore color number. So if you're using one of those companies, you can just put that, um, you know, the SW number or whatever you need to put there. And then you're going to get provided with a sample chip. Okay, so this is a change too. We're not doing the half doors for the paint match. So the custom Sherwin-William color, you are getting a sample chip to approve. Okay, you can also at this time, if you'd like to order a door sample, if you know the customer is going with the Marcus door style, you can order a Marcus door sample with um, your, your custom color chip. Okay, you're going to get that custom color chip for approval. And then you'll see the glaze sample set as well, or excuse me, sample. Um, that is going to be a half door sample for approval. So we want to make sure that um, the customer, the end you know, homeowner, is going to see what that glaze application looks like on their specific door style. So we're going to want to do a half door approval sample on the door style that they are going to order the kitchen in. Okay. So that's going to be a kind of a change from how we do things today. And then all these custom finishes are going to be good for nine months. That hasn't changed. Um, they're, it's going to be listed on the label behind um, the samples as well. So we've talked about so much information and everything that we're adding to the catalog. Um, you're going to get new catalogs and it's going to be really nice to just kind of flip through and and easily be able to design and work with um, within the catalog and the modification section and things like that. So we're going to kind of summarize um, the sizes that you have to work with now. So for wall cabinets, we go from 12 to 60 inch high. So we do every three inch increment. Um, split walls go from 42 to now 60 inch high. Bases from nine to 48 inch wide. And those drawer bases now go from 12 to 48, 42, excuse me. And talls now go from 84 all the way to that 120 height. So that's across the board, Kitchen Plus and Elan. Those sizes now, walls go up to 60, talls go up to 120. Um, so that's great new stuff. <clears throat> and as a part of this update, we also have discontinued some of the finish options that are obsolete. So you guys won't really miss these, but I'm going to go through them quickly. Um, the wood trait number eight 
So is the wire brushing, that's the only one that's gonna go away. And then those finished traits, the fly specs, batter, dry brushing, again, not ones anyone's gonna miss, um, but those are all gonna be going away. Um, all nine of the other wood traits are still being offered as well as the glaze options. So the glaze hasn't gone away, but just those, those other finished traits have. And then in Elan, um, unfortunately, we're just continuing the Braylon textured foil. I know this one was part of our new launch in July, um, but this one is actually due to a supplier discontinuing the matching component parts. Um, their, their recommended match, it, it doesn't meet our standards for matching. Um, so this one actually is going to be discontinued, unfortunately. And then there's several SKUs that are, that are getting retired. I'm gonna flip through the list, um, but just so you know, these are very low or no um, volume sellers. So it's gonna look like a lot of information, but it's really um, not anything that's getting ordered today anyway. So they're not gonna be missed. You're gonna see a lot of the fluted and the beaded things that are gonna go away. Um, the wall plate rack. So it's just some of those dated cabinet SKUs that are gonna go away. The balance styles, you know, the scrolled Victorian Baroque, we're still left with the great, you know, traditional um, and square and mission balance styles. So we didn't eliminate all of them. We just eliminated the dated ones. So more SKUs retiring, um, the hutch side extend down, Blind base with swing out roll trays, you know, just some random things there. The cookware organizer, um, sliding towel bar kit, tall angled corners. And these all are on a list um, that are going to be in the catalog. So if you want to actually look at each individual item, you can. Um, and it's also on the PDF that got announced um, last week as well. So this, the complete list is available. Um, in Elan, some other just random SKUs that were specific to Elan, you know, the wall with vegetable bin, um, that is getting discontinued. But most of these other ones are, are kind of the same across the board from Kitchen Plus to Elan. And base with tip out bins, you know, the tall wine storage cube, tall end shelf, things that um, aren't really getting designed with anyway. And then here's a list of um, the moldings and trims that are getting retired. Again, a lot of that old dated, um, you know, more traditional heavy Victorian toe kick balance, you know, the scallop dental molding, the rope, um, the countertop edge trim that's, you know, more decorative. And then um, this got announced um, as part of the launch as well, the bow front and curved cabinets. Um, and this falls for both Kitchen Plus and Bath. Um, all of those are retiring and that's effective immediately. Um, that is due to um, lack of sales. And also we don't have a person to do that. The, the person who did the curved cabinets retired. Um, and unfortunately it's not enough volume to keep that that program going. So all bow front cabinets and all curved cabinets are um, retiring effective immediately. And now I'm just going to cover some of the details um, and important dates to remind, remind you guys of. Um, so on May 16th, we made that announcement so that you got the nice email blast. If you didn't get that, let us know so we make sure you get added to the mailing list for that. Um, but that has the PDF, it has samples of the catalogs, everything that you can download. And you can also start ordering samples. So you can order the um, Huntington door sample and you can start designing your displays in that door style as well. Um, today, we're doing the dealer training on May 25th. And then June 1st is going to be the official launch date. So you can start ordering new products at that time. If you've already, you know, kind of known about this and you're waiting to see the new door style, you can start ordering a job in that new door style. And then September 1st is going to be the last day to order the retired products.
And here's that um, update order form for the Huntington door style. So that's going to be in the Birch Cloud. And automatically, you guys are going to get mailed. So once they start mailing out the catalogs, you guys are going to get two new catalogs for Kitchen Plus, two new catalogs for Elon, which includes all those new tabs sections as well. So you're going to get the catalog pages and tabs. And then you're going to get two packs of the kitchen literature. Okay, so the KLT, you're going to get two of everything. If you need more than that, you can order those. You can order those with that door sample. Um, we've also updated the merchandisers. Okay, so the merchandisers are now complete with the Huntington door style. The literature, so the Kitchen Plus and Elan literature has been updated. So it's got the Huntington door style, some new images in there. And again, you guys are going going to receive two packs of this literature automatically. 2020 and Pro Kitchen catalogs are updated. So 2020 catalogs are already posted on InfoNet. So if you want to, um, right after this, go download the 2020 catalogs. If, I think it's 18 is the number. So that's going to be the new version. And that's a wrap for the product launch. So before I open it up for questions, you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and we are really excited about these um, updates and changes and we hope you guys are too.